Hi. Today on Lockie and Lukey, we are we are changing the diesel fuel filter on the on the Citroen Picasso car. So the filter should come with a gasket and some plugs that you'll need. Do you want to unbox that one, Lockie? There's a, a rubber gasket and these little plugs, which you'll need to plug off the in and intake and out to, outlet of the fuel lines while you're doing the filter change and that's the actual filter there and hopefully they send us the right size okay so being a french car i don't trust that it will do weird things so i'm going to disconnect the battery because i don't want the computer doing strange things when i disconnect the fuel lines i don't want it to sort of read an error and then i can't clear the error because it has a french computer now over this section there's a few steps to this. This I think uses about a 26 size socket to undo, but before we can do that, we've got to disconnect the fuel lines from each side um, so that we can free it and this little um, sensor here so that we can free up this so we can rotate it to get the fuel filter out. So to do that, I'm just going to get the plugs ready. So for those not using the metric system, I think it's around, and it might not be the exact size, one and one sixteenth, um, or 26 around that size. I think that's probably still a bit too big, but I should be able to do it without ruining anything. So I'm just getting these plugs ready, because I will need them to plug up these lines so that the diesel fuel doesn't go everywhere and then the rubber gasket. So the first one, this one here has two things you gotta pinch. So the easiest way to do it is undo this clip here and get some leverage on there. Because once you undo that, then you can sort of pull it up a bit higher and squeeze both of these and it comes off. See, at this point, then you wanna plug off this with one of these plugs so it doesn't spray diesel fuel everywhere. This one here is an electronic clip. That one just comes off, just put it out of the way because it will have diesel squirting around. We don't really want the wires getting diesel in them. <laughs> no explosions. Now this one here, again, this one just has one release clip. This one's a bit tougher, so I did bring a screwdriver. And that should release, but I'm being very cautious because it's old and brittle and we do not want to break this. <laughs> so gently take that one off. And this one has a slightly different one. So this one caps off with this one that comes with the kit. That's where the pump is. Okay, so now we've got all these things unclipped and out of the way. Now we can start to take the actual filter off. I'm just being really gentle here. That is firmly on. I don't want to break anything. So I must have the wrong size here. So I don't want to break it, so I'm going to come back. 